Hello and welcome. Since I still got my old theater audio generator here sitting on my uh, bench, I decided to do another oddball oddball video with this. And what it's going to be is checking your output voltage uh, versus your frequency with an oscilloscope. In case you don't have an AC voltmeter that can handle higher frequencies, like for example this this um, audio generator here goes from 20 to 200,000 Hertz and not all voltmeters can deal with that you'd have to have like an AC voltmeter that can um, do that in fact the one I have on my distortion meter I think that only goes up to 150 kilohertz and it wouldn't handle the 200 kilohertz it probably would but it would probably probably be some errors in there um, so what you could do basically you could also use an oscilloscope and then if you really wanted to get really into it you can make it like a little graph like this you can see where I could plot from let's say this one goes from 20 to 20 Hertz to 20 K but I could also make one say that went from 20 Hertz to 200,000 K I could do something like that too, which I'm not gonna um, do right now because that's getting in too deep for me. So what I could do basically, I could go ahead. Um, I looked at the uh, user manual for this leader audio generator, and it says it's supposed to put out from 20 to 200 thousand hertz, or it's supposed to be plus or minus 1 dB so basically it's supposed to be pretty flat not have any large dips or peaks or something like that and it's supposed to put out the maximum output voltage is 2.5 no excuse me the maximum output voltage is 5 volts RMS okay now uh, what we're going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and check what I'm getting out loaded um, or rather what I'm getting out unloaded that's without a load across the signal generator and then I'm going to go ahead and put a load across it in this case the output impedance is 600 ohms I don't have a 600 ohm resistor here um, of course I could string probably two together but I'm going to go ahead because I'm a little pressed for time I'm going to go ahead and use a 560 ohm um, resistor so let me go ahead and get a little set up here turn everything on so I got everything on and um, my reference is going to be 1000 Hertz and um, right now I've got the audio generator it's on the high high output and I've got the attenuator um, set up so it's putting out maximum a maximum signal and I'm just running the the leads from the generator here they're just going straight to the, the direct probe of the oscilloscope and if we look up here at the oscilloscope so and here's what we get we got to go ahead and change here the vertical setting so I can get a reading like that and then what we're going to do is change the horizontal here so going the wrong way so what I want to do is set this thing up as to where I'm getting a straight up and down line I want to get it as slow as I can I'm keep going slower oh that was too far like that and so I can get it Okay, it's on 2 volts per division right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and measure from here, from here up to there. And that's going to be my peak to peak voltage. And I can see right here it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, it's filling out 7 graticles here. So it's 7 times 2, that means it's 14 volts peak to peak. Now, i got to see if that's 5 volts RMS. It probably is. 
So in order to get the RMS out voltage output um, from the peak to peak voltage, I think I have to take the 14 times 0 0.3535, 0 0.3535, and again the maximum output from this audio generator is 5 volts RMS. Um, so. And here it is, it's 4.94, which is uh, pretty reasonably close. So next, I'm going to hook up a resistor across it as a load. That's the uh, 560 ohm resistor I was talking about. And then... Um, go ahead and take the first measurement. I've got everything on maximum, so all I have to do for this is clip this across there somehow, make sure it holds good. Okay, and now my output should be somewhat lower. Take a look at the scope again. There we go. It is in fact lower. Let me see if I can't get this set up a little bit better. Okay, right now, which is good, it's going one, two, three, four. It's filling up four graticals, and that's at two volts per division so that's 8 volts peak to peak so if I vary the um, audio generator from 20 to 200,000 Hertz now this should only move should only get larger or smaller by a very small amount of course I would have to do a then check the voltage ratios in order to get the DB difference but now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try to hold this and um, go ahead and take it down to 20 hertz. So I'm trying to do this. One hand I hold the uh, camera. The other hand I turn the knob, which is not too advantageous. But you can see there, it's basically still at where it was. So let me go ahead and, of course, you can run through. It. You have to run through all the frequencies. Sometimes you might see it varying a little bit. I'm doing this really fast now. Okay, that was that. Now to make things faster, not so boring, I'm going to go ahead and jump um, some frequencies. I'm up to times 100 scale. And... You can see here, right now I'm at 10,000 hertz. I'm actually going down to 7, 6,000 hertz the other way. Okay, now I'm at about, I think right now I'm at uh, 20,000 hertz. Now I'm going up to the 1K. That's 1,000. That's going to be 20 times. 1000 range so the 1k range and what do I got here that's at 20,000 Hertz and I think from here from my vantage point it's looking good so I'm going to take it all the way up slowly up it's up to twenty or rather excuse me so it's 25,000 hertz, 30,000, we slowly bring this up, 40,000, 50,000, let me just make a real quick jump to 200,000 now. So. Um, basically from here I can say the actually this audio generator performs as it should 
so I didn't have to, I, like I said, I could have plotted this. What I would do then is use the reference that I had earlier, which would be exactly 40 radicals. And if it dropped, say, by one radical, then I would go ahead and take the voltage ratio and then use a table, and then that would give me the decibel difference. But in this case, um, I think I'm okay. I'm also running out of space here in my little uh, memory card. Uh, anyway, that's another way of checking your voltage output and frequency in case you don't have a AC voltmeter. Uh, just regular VM, but you do have an oscilloscope, of course. Uh, thanks for watching.